Hello! In today's episode, we are going to take a look at Font Awesome and how to get it working on our Rails application. Let's code! So, what is Font Awesome? Let's look at the website. Font Awesome, the iconic font and CSS toolkit. Now, the great thing about Font Awesome is it gives you a nice set of icons that you can use on your application. And as we can see here, there's a lot of them. So let's try and figure out how to get this up and running on our Rails application. Now, the guys at Fort Awesome, the creator of Font Awesome, have helped us out. They've created a Font Awesome SaaS gem for us to use on our Ruby Rails applications or projects. Now, it should be pretty simple to get up and running. All we have to do is add Font Awesome to our gem file, bundle install, and import the required style sheets files. So what we'll do now is we'll start off by creating a new Rails app. And let's call it Rails New Awesome. Let's get into our application. Let's just quickly scaffold a post, which will have a title, that's a string, and a body, which will be text. Now let's run Rails DB migrate to populate our database. Let's run the server to make sure it's up and running. So we're going to localhost 3000. Great, we're up and running. Okay, now I'm just gonna quickly change the routes to put a root path. Mistake there, it's post index. Great, let's add some first. Nicely working. Okay, now let's open up our gem file and let's get uh, this up and running. So we need to, in whoops, to include font awesome sass. And we'll need to do a bundle install. Great, now we need to go ahead and import these styles. Okay, so what we need to do first is, since it's using SCSS SAS, we need to rename the style sheet. to application.css and I'm just going to import that. I'm also going to import with scaffold CSS files. Yep, scaffolds and post. Okay. 
Okay, now we need to restart our Rails server for this to work. Okay, now let's take a look at what we can do with Font Awesome. Now let's say we want to add a pen icon. It should be a pen here. That's good. Pencil square. So what we can do is we can grab this tag and add it to our template file. So where should we put it? Let's put it in the form. Put in the title here. Save that. So refresh. Our site. And as you can see, we've got the icon right there for us. Nice and easy. So, new hello. Thank you. Great. Now let's see what else we can do. If you look at the examples, we can actually enlarge the icons. Have this fix width, even use icons in a list and animate fantastic now let's try and animate something and what we'll do is we'll also use the rails helper that comes with the font awesome sas gem as you can see here all we need to do is pass in the icon itself. So we'll put this on the show page and let's, let's just put it at the top here. Okay, so ba basically what we need to do is do that. Um, let's change the icon to planet. I think that's an icon. And there should be FA spin. And we'll make it large too. Just double check that's correct. Let's go back to the example. So FA bash 5x. To make it five times larger. And where's this animated icons? Spin spin great I'm just gonna verify the icon planet exist it's globe now let's take a look here so we just need to include globe I don't think we need to add the FA there Okay, refresh. There we go. It's not accurate in terms of how it spins on its axis, but it's animating nonetheless. So what I suggest is you take a look at the Font Awesome website and give the Font Awesome SAS gem a go when you're building a new Rails project. Hope you enjoyed that. Until next time.